Hello everyone, Cooper Garden Tech Guy here with another video. And uh, as you see here, I have the web page open for the iPhone 7 and also the page for the Google Pixel. And guess what time it is? It's time for war again! Today I'm going to be doing a iPhone 7 vs Google Pixel specs, so that's what this video is about. So let's start off with the iPhone 7. Now, we already know the description of the iPhone 7. It has water resistance, first time in history for Apple. Uh, it comes with a slightly better display, a better speaker, and also a slightly better camera and there are new designs on both the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus but I'm focusing on the 7 of itself not the iPhone 7 Plus but anyways yes comes in two new colors jet black finishes splash resistant water resistant and a new home button now the camera it's a 12 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization and a 7 megapixel uh, FaceTime camera with a quad LED true tone flash and it comes with an f1.8 aperture and a 6 element lens to make better more crisper photos well at least some nice natural looking photos and this is some of the photos they are featured here but in this photo you can see the aperture does not do too well but the focus is more on the sign but the pit is just come out too dark here I mean, it doesn't look all that natural in certain lighting conditions especially in dark but in fair light conditions it looks pretty natural yeah. and also this one here it looks pretty fairly light Okay, now this. Okay, that's probably like the worst photo. I mean, you can hardly see the person's face. The photo is supposed to focus on the person's face. I mean, unless the boss wants to hide your face, but the aperture is not too well. But at least he tries to make the photos look a bit natural. But the camera could do better in certain conditions. It does very good in daylight. Does fairly well in this condition. And in light moves. Now this is probably the best condition view for the, this is probably the best dark condition for you to take your photos. And so on and so on. And that's with the camera. Now it comes with a white color gun and 3D touch of course which is a feature that iPhones come with lately, 25% brighter, yes a retina HD display, retina HD display is very nice but it's a 4.7 inch display but you might not get so much out of it but at least the pixels will be fairly well with the iPhone 7. And it comes to the A10 Fusion chip, which is A10 is a Apple design chip, which comes with 4 gig of RAM capabilities. Now it's supercharged. Uh, it's probably the most powerful chip in a smartphone ever. Well, I would not say it's the most powerful chip in a smartphone ever because there are some phones that I would have seen that have 6 gig of RAM. And a hexagon processor, not a quad. quad. So it's not the best, but it's the best on an iPhone. Now the audio is fairly well. It comes with two blasting speakers, one to the front and one to the bottom. And of course, it comes with Wi-Fi and cellular support, and it runs on iOS 10, which is probably one of the best softwares we have today, compared to Android Nougat. Well, We'll have to know about that. And now let's head off to the Google Pixel. Now the Google Pixel 
focus is on camera and software that's what I would say it's about but anyways oh and what about Google Pixel it comes with v it's VR ready it's Google Daydream VR ready so you can experience Google Daydream with this phone and this is probably the best phone right now to have with Google Daydream experience now it comes with Google Assistant built in it's Google's new AI that you can access from any device that has Google Assistant on it. For example, the Google Home and the Chromecast. Now it's the highest ranked camera in a smartphone ever. You know, the Google Pixel camera has more capabilities. Now this is with the Pixel HDR Plus, which looks more natural than the iPhone 10. This is with the lens blur. This is with panorama. This is with uh, photo spear. Photo spear is probably the best looking one. And this is with the uh, pixel smart bus. Now it's a 12.3 megapixel camera, unlike the iPhone 7, which is only 12 megapixels with a wide angle, but it's 12 megapixels with a large. 155 um and a f 2.0 aperture now f 2.0 aperture brings out brighter photos than f 1.8 and for all pixel owners you have unlimited storage which i also said in google photos where it'll be backed up in 4k videos hd whatever all backed up in its original quality and it features google duo and google allo and it's an experience by google it comes with a seamless glass unit um, aluminum metal body which gives you some protection and body iPhone 7 and Google Pixel comes with different dimensions and they both have their un both unique designs so design won't be a wire over here they both come with aluminum but at the part top of the top end of the Google Pixel comes with glass which gives a fancy design but also that's also for the antenna to help protect the antenna bands now it's a vivid AMOLED display with 16.77 million colors and it comes with a quick charge you can get 7 hours of battery life in just 50 minutes and the iPhone 7 does not support quick charge sadly and you can switch in 3 simple steps and Apple has the methods of switching also and you can make it just with some very special cases with the Google Pixel Live cases and it's built for VR and Google Pixel is a 5 inch display and it comes with some very special colors it has bl quite black quite black is pro would probably rival the uh, matte black with the jet black on the iPhone 7 and it comes with very really very silver and really blue now very silver is bas a basic silver but really blue is probably the latest color so jet black and matte black versus really blue and quite black but for me i would go with the really blue and it's exclusive on verizon for the google pixel but you can get it unlocked when you pre-order from Google Store, Best Buy, and Project Fee. The iPhone 7 comes an act also, and it also features with some other, uh, but some other networks, I guess. And so that is it with the Google Pixel, yes, Google Pixel versus the iPhone 7. And you can tell me what you think about these two phones in the comments. It's a choice for you if you want simplicity or if you want more extendability. Um, Android is based on extendability and Apple has been using the iPhone series or iOS for simplicity. But these two are really great phones. But one but I'd like to add one more thing to the Google Pixel that the iPhone 7 doesn't have. It has a headphone jack. Yes. So that's it. Signing up.